Yo, what's going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to the PS2 video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about just a couple things you should keep your eye out for while currently playing NGS. But before we jump into that, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kronos. I do content over here on YouTube daily. Much appreciate to subscribe as we work our way towards the big 10K by the end of this year. But let's jump into this. So there's quite a bit going on. If you've been following PSO2 NGS's launch, it has not been the smoothest thing we've ever dealt with. There have been a, a couple of bugs. We've had some lag we've had to deal with. It's uh, it's kind of been up and down. And I mean, quite a people making uh, some videos. I'm going to go ahead and probably make a video giving my thoughts overall um, in the next day or two. But I did want to talk about a couple of things you should keep your eye out for while playing currently. Um, just a few tips to make your experience that much smoother. So first thing is going to be just regarding things in game. So first off, the resets on nodes right now. Now, node resets have been a little bit sporadic, a little random. Some of them have been reset on daily reset. Others have been reported them not having anything reset on daily reset. It's been like, you know, more than 24 hours, so on and so forth. So I'm going to recommend just bare bones. If you're going to re if you're going to um, to gather whatever, anything along those lines, try to gather as a daily process. The reason for it is there are daily rewards that you can get. Let me see if I can do, yeah, completed, cool. Daily rewards for gathering, um, depending upon the, uh, the node you're going for. So say you pick up a bunch of stuff before reset and it doesn't happen, your, your reset or your nodes don't reset on daily reset. Well, you might end up being screwed out of this node itself or this reward. Um, I know that quite a few of us got the, uh, the daily to pick up. I believe it was like 10 pieces of seafood and we only got a lot of us only got nine. Now, granted, imagine if you actually gathered previously, you may have even gotten less. So just something to keep in mind. It's kind of a pain in the butt, I know. And uh, hopefully something they're going to look into getting fixed overall. This doesn't happen because a lot of people like I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people have this issue itself. Um, so. Definitely feedback to provide it and to look into itself, but that's uh, on the uh, on the list of things as far as, you know, issues, I would say it's pretty low on the totem pole overall. There are a couple of other problems that have been brought up as well. Let's go ahead and talk about the personal shop. So the personal shop Welcome. has got a couple of items in it that if you attempt to purchase them off of the personal shop, you won't actually be able to purchase those items itself just because some of them are bugged. Um, people have them stuck in their player shops and they can't take them down. So going by search by um, or search by order put up for sale is honestly a better choice right now just to see if you can you know buy what you're looking for either that or just if you try to buy something from the shop and it says like gives you an error when you try to purchase it just skip it and go on to the next one um it could be just one of those items that's currently bugged in the shop that people can't really take down i know some people are like stuck with you know 10 15 of their item slots taken up and they can't you know they can't get rid of them unfortunately hopefully that's something they'll get taken care of in the most recent uh, maintenance when that comes along um while we're on the shop or on the conversation of the shop right now a lot of these filters are bugged where you don't find anything at all like say if i wanted to go to weapon i wanted to go to swords and i went to you know one star or greater and searched in a lot of situations yeah nothing comes up but if i drop weapons off and i type in which i believe it's prim sword with nothing should be able to find it yeah, Prim Sword, I'll be able to find my item itself. So right now, using the filters are more or less completely bugged out. Um, they're not working properly. So if you're looking to purchase anything off of the market, basically don't enter anything in the category results. Leave these completely blank and just enter the exact name of the item you're looking for. You'll be able to find it much, much easier. And if you're someone who's like, well, I'm looking for the fashion, the fashion's even easier. You can go directly over to um, the actual items, choose, search for the market, and then if you have a keyboard plugged in, if you don't, you can plug a keyboard in even on the Xbox, but just hover the item you want and then just control C will copy the item and then you can just control V it directly into the shop. Or if you've got a friend that's got it, you can you know, search yeah. them, take a look at them. Actually, I believe that still works. Let's double check uh, random individual. Yeah, so you can search them, control C. And then pop over here and bam, control V just like that. And you'll find the item you're looking for. No big deal. Sometimes the search bugs out, just do it again and you'll find what you're looking for. A lot of times it's uh, it's just a little slow or the server might be lagging. It's causing you some issues. So 
there are a few other things that are causing problems. Um, just so you're aware, you are able to put your money into the storage, which I'm going to recommend it because of another bug that's been happening. But for that, we need to uh, head over to the website and talk about what's going on there. So a few things, uh, multiple tickets for motion uh, and these here, pop this over here. And then, of course, there are <laughs> a few different ones that are popping up that are causing some problems. So let's start up here. So multiple tickets for a motion may accidentally be used. Be receiving re receiving reports that if two tickets for the same motion are obtained when one scratch pull, those two tickets may accidentally be used. Um, through our investigation, we can confirm a bug where if multiple motion tickets are received through one scratch pull, confirm or and players click confirm item use afterwards all received motion tickets are used currently working on a solution please do not conduct confirm item use after pulling scratch tickets until this is fixed basically whenever you actually do a pull um, you have the option of using all the items you can use from the poll itself right on that next screen it'll go ahead and use the items um, don't do that just go ahead and go into your inventory and use it manually itself so don't don't use the uh the option it gives you after you do a poll itself so it's uh, using more than one motion ticket um i don't know if they have any plans to uh re to refund those items itself so i would just be very very careful um overall um and then there's just a bunch of bugs apparently with like teleports and <laughs> leveling up apparently so when leveling up enmaceta and others or, um <laughs> we receive reports that a decrease of en in enmaceta when leveling up so we have received reports regarding a decrease in incident and other situations. We're investigating these incidences. Please apologize for the inconvenience. And we appreciate your continued patience as we continue our investigation. I haven't personally noticed this, but honestly, it might just be so small that I really haven't paid attention or cared. Um, and I haven't really spent much Masetta that it's been a huge issue for me personally. But I would say until this gets fixed, until they know it's fixed for sure, you can just put your Masetta away whenever you're not using it. So something to keep in mind. Um, same thing when you're teleporting to different areas. So again, something to keep up. This one is a bit more concerning. Uh, we have investigated and confirmed that the following operation will reset the enhancement data when performed on NGS specific weapons or specific items. We are currently working to fix this error. Uh, lock or unlock NGS specific equipment. I am um, oh, say lock or unlock NGS specific equipment item from the storage menu while in a block on a PSO2 block specifically. Stealth or unstealth NGS specific arm. Okay, so this is only specific while in PSO2 blocks. Basically, don't lock or unlock any gear. Don't stealth or unstealth any gear specifically. NGS specific gear while in a PSO2 block. So doing this while in a PSO2 block apparently is accidentally removing all of the uh, the special enhancements, basically the augments from the gear itself. So if you're concerned about unlocking or unlocking any of your gear or hiding or unhiding any of your gear, as long as you're not in a PS2 specific block, it looks like it is or specifically fine and it's only specific to NGS gear. So that might cause an issue for you guys. I personally don't have any of my gear locked or uh, or stealth. Um, to be honest, there's really no reason why you would mess with stealthing or unstealthing NGS specific armor um, while you're in a PSO2 block in the storage menu. I could foresee that, but I mean, that's up to the individual themselves. So I would say just be careful in that situation. Um, and then the last bit was, I believe they might've fixed this one. I don't know for certain, but if you're playing through the prologue, uh, don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't use arrest. Sounds good. The option itself, uh, while you're talking to the NPC, uh, gorilla or gorilla, cause then you get stuck in Idleo town. So yeah, that's a big no, no, but that's really about it from things to look out for things to be worried about overall. Um, it is quite a bit, unfortunately. They are working on getting these fixed. There are maintenances that they have announced. Uh, looks like that maintenance is going to be this week. We'll talk about that in another video as far as how long that maintenance is going to be, what we've got coming up on, so on and so forth. But quite a bit's going on. I mean, so far, I am absolutely adoring NGS. It's super fun to play. It's kind of sad that it's riddled with all these issues. Um, but unfortunately, nowadays, with the way MMOs tend to launch these days is a lot of problems that tend to pop up. Um, actually one you can see right now that's been happening. Hopefully they get fixed. I'm not so sure this person has their skin tone set this and, and they might, you know, this, this might be the case, but, um, this is a pretty common issue that your skin tone or your character doesn't look quite right on everyone else's screen. Um, you lose your, your camo appearance as well. So some people have seen my character super pale <laughs> and, and missing his camo and everything like that. So 
it's a bit of a weird uh, a weird bug, but no worries, it doesn't happen for you on your end, and it gets fixed as soon as you load a different zone, so that gets taken care of. Anyway, guys, hopefully any of these things do help you sp at this point in time. We'll be talking more about uh, what they what I'm hoping happens as far as the game itself, because there are still some things that aren't so much bugs. Uh, basically, they just are how the game is designed that I'm not exactly completely for, and I want to talk about what I would recommend as far as fixing those things. But well, that's uh, time for another video. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this one. If you have any questions, feel free to toss them in the comments below. Make sure if you did miss anything completely, definitely put those in the comments and I will heart them to make sure they pop up directly at the top or pin them if they're super, super important. As always, guys, like, subscribe, click on the bell icon if you want to be contacted or be notified of videos when they go up as well as community posts or join us over Discord or follow me over on Twitter for notifications via those two avenues. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the end and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.